welcome back or welcome if you are new here in today's quick video tutorial i will show you how you can use buttons on your web pages built with google sites and if you stick with me until the end of this video i will also share some free html codes including some custom buttons you can use on your pages so these free html codes will include some buttons with effects like this you can use on your pages and also some subscribe contact forms and codes that you can use to display your products on your web pages as well especially if you are building e-commerce store with google sites so let's get started let's go to google sites first and i will just load one of the google sites i have previously done and then we will look how we can insert the buttons now first of all if you are choosing to use announcement banner on your web page you can also include button there as well with the link so to do that you need to go on the settings right here scroll down on announcement banner then here will be the message on the banner itself and here will be the message on the button and then again you can link button to the external link or one of your pages so if you click on this you can select one of the pages on your site so currently this website only have one page so if i click on it it will just link to it you can also link it to some external page and then you can select this tab open it in a new tab so the customer remains on your page while this link will open a new tab so this is always the option and then you can display this across all your pages or home page only so once you are done let's just close this and that's one of the places where you can display one of the buttons on your site now to display button somewhere on your page you need to come on the insert tab then scroll down and you will see button right here now if you click on it you need to give it a name and again place either any external link or link it to one of your pages so let's just call this button the same shop now and let's link it to the same page as shop and then click on insert okay so from here you can then adjust the size of your button and you can drag and drop on between your pages now the color of your button will be going to come by default of your team so if we come on the teams you see i currently have a selected diploma team with this color now if you come here and change the color it will also change the color on your button along with the background so sometimes that's not ideal and then you would go for some custom html buttons and i will share those codes with you just in a minute so now if we change the background color on this section and place it as red it will change our button color automatically as well in something that will show up on this color so if it's red it will automatically change as a white one so if we change the font style for our team it will also change the font on our button so if you see if you click on the light or on the heavy it also adjusts the text as well now if we drag our button outside back on the white again it will change the color so you can just play around and see how you would like to display your buttons and how you would like to set up the colors now another thing when you click on the button right here you have three options to choose field outline and text so currently we are on a field if you click on the outline you only see small outline along your button there is no color filling inside if you click on it again and choose only text option you're basically seeing only a link text okay so i always prefer a field one it's just showing a bit more now of course you can make your button a bit larger like this and if you would like to specify more details on your button right here you would go for custom team so we have done another video tutorial on this channel showing how you can set up custom team on a google site so you come on the top of the teams and you can see here this plus icon lets you to set up your custom team or you can also import your custom team if you have done it previously so let's just click on this plus icon right here let's call it new one you can add logo banner here and then we just keep going next select some color right here click on the next and create the team now on this place right here if we scroll down on components you will see your button section right here and from here you can specify the style it will apply not just for the button but for the divider links and image carousel as well so these are all included into your components section under your custom team so let's say we want field button and we want it to be green and as you can see now it only changed the color of the button without affecting the background so that's one of the options how you can customize your buttons a bit more not just by going the defaults that are included in the google site teams now if you choose to outline button again you can display in different color and if you want 
text button again you can display it differently so what it means if you come back here and then chase outline you see how it will changes and it will be the same style so if you choose to display multiple buttons on your pages you just have more you know sort of uh, features here and more creativity how you can set up this and if you go for style 2 again you can change this default settings right here differently and if you click on the preview you see how it will look like okay so if you come here and change this color you don't have to come on the side to see how it will look like you can simply click on the preview okay and again you can create even the third style for your buttons and again just save it under your custom themes now alternatively if you would like to design some very specific fonts and use more color combinations uh, without using HTML code you also have option embed buttons such as an PNG image with transparent background so for example if we come on canva.com okay and I have done some design right here so this is just essentially a place as a button with the text on the top of it okay so you can simply come on the elements tab on canva choose one of the shapes then come on a text set up one of the fonts and create your button right here then what you need to do is come on the share then scroll down to download select the png file and click on the transparent and then you select the page you would like to download it's just the first one it will then save this image on your computer with a transparent background now this is canvas premium pro paid feature if you want to download your images with a transparent background and if you would like to try it out a canvas premium pro paid version free for 30 days i will leave the link in this video description now what you would do next if you go back on google sites and then you come either on and set tab and select on images or you just double click and select on upload you can can go and select this image from download and then again you can position it and what you can do now you can just click on the link and again you can link it to external or on one of your pages so essentially it will work exactly the same as this button you have some more like on crop or crop images features because remember this is just image however on the website it will look the same as just as a button with the link wherever you have set up the link okay so that's alternative way how you can style your buttons on google sites all right now i promise what you need to do to assess free html code so if you come to url landing.meritmastering.com slash code dash product and you will then land on a page looking like this where you need to enter your email address okay and from here you will then assess this page where you can download these free html codes and then you can use them on your google site pages okay and they will be displaying this type of effect and as i said there are other forms and codes you can use from this page as well now if you would like to learn more how you can use embed feature on google sites go ahead and watch this video as a next one and i will see you then